What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. We've been able to use the new OnePlus 8T for about 48 hours now and I want to give you guys some initial thoughts, impressions, and to really kind of comment back on what you guys commented on the unboxing video. So right off the bat, OnePlus has definitely finally got their act together with good screens. And what I mean by that, for the last, God, I can't even tell you how long now, um, at least a few, three generations or so, the screens on OnePlus's devices have been phenomenal. And this is no different here with the 8T. This new AMOLED panel that they put in is phenomenal. The 120 hertz display, uh, the refresh rate really does make a difference. I can't believe Apple didn't get on board this year uh, for battery saving measures is the rumor, but for those of you that use Android phones on the daily basis, you know the substantial difference between a uh, 60 hertz display and a 120 hertz display. Everything just looks that much smoother and cleaner. Android's interface, especially with skins, get a little clunky. Thanks to these 120 hertz panels, they work and look a lot better. Now, having said that, one of the other areas of concern is battery life. I have not had any battery life here myself, no issues at all. Again, still early in our review period. This isn't gonna be our full review, but I just wanna throw that out there. This 4,500 milliamp hour battery is working great with the Snapdragon 865 chipset. Yeah, it's about on par with what you would expect at this point in time for the end of 2020. One thing that actually has surprised me more than I thought, just due to basically being a reused main sensor, is the camera. This camera's Sony sensor in here, primary camera I should say, has been used for a couple generations now. However, the new wide angle lens, the macro lens, I know a lot of people knock. The photo samples that I've been getting out of this are phenomenal. I'll throw those up here for you to see and we'll be right back. As you can see, depending on what kind of shooting scenario you're in, obviously these weren't done in ideal sunlight. They look great. The macro lens shots look phenomenal as well. I'm really a fan of this. I was kind of questioning it at first just because of it's a new sensor. You have a, you know the new Google Pixel 5, 4a, 5G, new iPhones. They're really stepping their game up, but this hangs in with them as you would hope. The, really going back to the fingerprint sensor as well, it's always reliable as you can see here in the videos. I've not had any issues with that whatsoever. The, the video playback, even though it's a 1080p display, looks great. It has all your normal customized modes that you can use for uh, watching videos. You can obviously go ahead and, let me turn this brightness back down for you a little bit. You can obviously customize it like OnePlus always allows. You can make your accent colors a little different, change your wallpaper, your clock style. For that new always on display, that is baked into Android 11. Obviously with Android 11 out of the box, you don't even have to wait on an update. It's one of the first phones to come with Android 11 in box. Now, if you didn't see my original hands-on and unboxing video of this, it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of cues from Samsung's One UI. And what I mean by that is you can see how when you pull down, it pushes everything down kind of towards the bottom. And you have that large font up top that shrinks as you slide. It's meant to be more of a one-handed operation. So if you can't reach the top of your phone, that is there for you. A little lower to see. Aside from that, all of these settings look a lot more cleaned up, definitely more organized. You do have those new 
power button toggles where you have your new Google Pay uh, cards right there as well, your emergency, your contact. They made this a little more useful with your smart home, kind of like what Apple has done on their iPhones. But aside from that, nothing crazy. It is smooth. It's more of a refinement here with what you're getting with Android 11. So I don't want to touch too much on that because a lot of you will start experiencing this with all the different carriers out there and phone partners as well. But back to your comments on the unboxing. So I wanted to really bring up what a lot of people were saying. I'm not too sure about this device. I don't know if it's really going to be one of the best ones out there. You guys are dead on. For $750, you can do a lot better. It's starting to play with the big boys in a mid-range segment. And what I mean by that is mid-range phones are getting really good. The 8T is not meant to be a pro replacement. That pro line still exists. You still have the 8 Pro. This fits in the middle of the pro and the new Nord line. So for dollar for dollar for 12 gigs of RAM, 250 gig storage, it is a phenomenal device. It's going to fly. We know what OnePlus has done. They've been doing it for a while now. But for a pure Android experience, if you want a good camera, a more compact phone, I think the Pixel 5 is going to be your best bet. We haven't done our unboxing or first look at that yet. That will be coming up. It's just been tech, uh, you know, tech heavy month of October as usual. So that will come in the near future as well. Having said that, though, can you get a better deal for 750? Yes. But with all the incentives, you can get like 50% off if you buy the one on T-Mobile. That I think is called the OnePlus 8T Plus 5G. So even name that is you can get that for basically $400. It's a good deal at that point if you want to get locked into those two-year agreements with T-Mobile and their uh, EIP plans. But aside from that, I don't recommend it necessarily to the mass public unless you're in love with OnePlus. It is not a bad phone. Some of the new accessories, if you guys haven't seen, like this new case, it really looks nice. I think it's more of a Tron-esque type material. It's a hard plastic case. If you're starting to get into OnePlus's ecosystem with their headphones, with their devices, and supposedly their rumored watch coming out, this is not a bad deal at all. Great phone. You don't have official water resistance on it either. Something else to keep in mind. Uh, the T-Mobile variant does have it. I don't know why that's certified at IP resistance, but this is not. It does have your traditional seals around the gasket, so you will be good in that regard, but just something to keep in mind as well. I have a little one. She likes to go swimming. I wouldn't feel 100% secure bringing this with me for that reason. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine with a splash or two or if you get caught in the rain, but if it gets submerged, I don't feel as confident with this as I would the Pixel 5 or any iPhone for that matter. Now, for those of you that follow the channel, though, you know I do carry the uh, Galaxy Z Fold 2 as my daily driver. Yeah, that's not water resistant either. However, what you get with that device makes the risk worth it. There's nothing else out there that is like that right now. So, yeah, a little bit of a ramble. Wanted to really give you first impressions. If you guys want one of these devices, I'll throw a link up in the description. Use our referral link to get a couple of bucks off of accessories. I'll throw up the one for the headphones too. That's a whole different ball game. If you haven't used the, the Bullet Wireless C headphones yet, they are awesome. Definitely can't go wrong for that reasonable price point. One thing I didn't touch on, the new 65 watt fast charging. Yes, it's great. Two different battery cells here to kind of get that done. 65 watt is going to become the new standard, I think, in the next six to eight months, just because of so many Chinese companies really starting to, to, to push the technology. I mean, we have 120 hertz charging or 120 watt chargers out there now uh, that some Xiaomi phones have. It's looking good for the future. No wireless charging here either. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.